Okay, so we created. Next, what I want to do is take um, natural erosion right here. Okay, and we'll just place it between the option. So let's go ahead and preset some of these adjustments. The one I want to use a channel erosion. And if you watch tutorials before, we look over. This is will provide a little bit harder, kind of more um, its true effect. Okay, we we'll won't use any filters, but I want to use a geological time enhancement. It will provide heavier type of erosion. And we'll just take, put it a little bit down so we don't need it as heavy. Our base, we can bring slightly down. This is because we enable our geological time and this will already give it some accelerations. Uh, let's bring rock hardness, you know, maybe one seven, somewhere around there, and um, carry amount slightly down. Maybe about 180, like right there. Okay, we can go click OK and click on preview. So you can see right here at this point, we have a nice erosion applied, but we still preserve some of this effect. And what we're going to do is uh, apply just even a little bit more afterwards. Additional erosion one we're done, but this is our primary. So I want to almost uh, create, you know, kind of inside of. Okay. The next thing, time to add river. Right now we have a valley. So how do we add river? Right here, we already have it, our path done for this. So I'm going to control C, control V, copy, paste, drag, and place it between. You can see how it's affecting, but the reason is because I need to modify slightly. So let's go open this layout. And you can notice right here, we have our layout open. Okay, we'll go select and open our shape. We can also call maybe it's a river, so we kind of recognize what is this. And I said because it's a river inside, I want to modify a few things. One, um, let's take this fallout distance and bring way down. You can see on our map what is happening. So we'll go way, way down. I think this is about right size. We can adjust again a little bit more. Let's create smooth curve. Leave it right here and let's take height value all the way down. You cannot see right now because we do have this invert values and we want to actually deselect them. So you can see at this point we have a kind of river going on a middle. Okay, let's click OK. And let's look what we have so far. So again, in some cases this layout, maybe we cannot see it because we're already too low. So what we want to do is bring some of this effect back up. So let's do this by um, adding additional inversion increasing. So we'll add some smoothness to this valley. What I want to do is take our layout right here. We'll press F so we can lock or we can just click lock preview. By locking preview, we can switch and open additional uh, like the properties without switching between them. So it's just examples. Look, we can go ahead and increase some of this effect in a valley. And you can see right here, rivers start poking out in a ways where we want to go. So these areas will be low. And let's do this way. So we'll go add a little bit more. Okay, kind of maybe even bring a little bit more to the valley. The problem again to creating this way, we may introduce some additional properties that I don't want it. So I'm going to do this other ways. So we'll go bring back right here. Okay, or just can cancel it. So we'll go back. Okay, and we need to go inside the our layout where we had right at this point. We can select it. And if you remember, we have it default value height or other things so we can also by modifying this value we can bring this little bit up so maybe around this maybe just slightly down okay so this is another ways we can also bring 
the valley a little bit up so let's go check in right here you can see we have it nice except right this area just slightly breaking a little bit too sharp so let's go back to our layout okay actually this area so and right here we have a little bit too sharp so we could modify and move them I'm not necessarily like to do this I like to keep it same shape but sometimes you can always just go and a little bit readjust some of those positioning okay and I think I'm actually on line two so I want to go to my river adjustment okay, right here and we can try to adjust this one so you can see we kind of readjusting put it this little bit more on the middle Okay, so we have it our river going and I'll bring this little bit out so we can write this edges so we can render a little bit better. Okay, when we're done, let's go preview. We have a nice river going. Again, we can go inside the erosion and just add maybe a little bit more, see how it will affect. Again, I'm looking through increase segment bit erosion so we still have some of those um okay right here we still have it some of our terrace right there we can preview but at the same time additional erosion is applied um we can always show the water level and in some cases this is maybe help us to preview like this is beautiful so we have a nice river a little bit swampish areas we have a nice preview on this Okay, also, um, as I'm working, for example, Perlin, maybe it's too sharp, so I will go pop up scale and play a little bit with elevation. You know, bring it down, maybe. Stepiness, so we can bring, maybe around right there. Just the adjustment and see which one will play very well. But I like how this valley come. And if I'm doing an another application like Vu, I probably will even populate plants around here, trees and the valley, so it will look more realistic if I'm going to render. Okay, let's go ahead, click pre-render so we can see. I do like how these areas come up with our steps and apply it give it some interesting characters um, next what we're going to do is add additional um, erosion to this so because we have one but if we go back and we look on the river right here it's look too sharp so I don't like this I want to add some erosion to this area smooth out so we'll have a little bit nicer edges where the river going Okay, and we can do this by the same, take the same arrow tools, go right here and place between. I want to go to this, press F key or unlock so we can preview. Okay, let's go drag these guys out. Okay, and this erosion, you can same playing around, see different options. I'll just set as a channel, maybe, you know, bring a little bit down the normal what I'm going to do in this case, okay, same things. I'm going to lock preview on this device, but it's not necessary because we'll go to open, go in preview mode. Like here, it's you can see a little bit better in some cases, and we can adjust erosions and look directly on a map what's what's happening and going on. The one thing I want to increase it is rock hardness, and you will notice. It will preserve some height, but at the same time, it's give it us nice channeling going through here. Okay, carry segment amount, we can reduce a little bit. Well, let's go enable also over the time. And we can bring this up. 
So we have a little bit nicer area swampy right there, but same, we have a strong effect going. And if you look, our lines a little bit better now, smoother those edges. So we have a natural look on the river with erosions going. Okay, let's take actual water and maybe take just slightly down, see how it will go. Okay, I think this is nice. Okay, so on this part of tutorial, I think we're okay. Let's go in and next and start working with uh, applying some materials and creating uh, image map for our terrain so we can use it if we need in a game or maybe in another application we're going to render something so we can distribute materials properly.